is the Atkinson, uh, the Atkinson differential engine. Atkinson did a lot of work on trying to overcome the, the, uh, the patents that were in force at the time. He came up with a lot of ingenious schemes for uh, developing a four-cycle engine. And this, again, like the cycle engine, is a four-cycle engine. That means it gets all four strokes of the cycle in a single revolution of the crank, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Let me just walk you through it now. The theoretic beginning of the stroke, both the pistons are together over on this side. You can see that this rod has pushed the piston, so both pistons are just within a, an eighth inch of each other on the far side behind these valve bodies. And as I begin to rotate the crank, if I go a quarter turn, just, just one quarter turn is going to bring the crank pin from here up to the top. There's one quarter turn. And those pistons are drawn apart, creating a vacuum, and it's drawn in the mixture. And in the meantime, this left piston has is, is gone past the port and closed the port. The intake cycle is finished. Now another quarter turn, and you'll see that the crank pin will be over here, 90 degrees. And at that time, this piston is going to follow the other. This one will slow down and stop. And this one will speed up, and it'll reach a point where it'll stop when the two are close together, just behind this spark plug port. That'll be the compression stroke. There's the compression stroke. Now the mixture is compressed, and at this moment, when the points break, you're going to have ignition. And on the power stroke, you'll see that the explosion is going to drive this piston all the way to the right. One quarter turn. There's your power stroke. And the power stroke has driven the crank. Now in the final quarter turn of the revolution, then this piston is going to follow and it's going to drive out the exhaust. The exhaust is going to come up this port right here. And there you have exhaust. All four strokes in a single revolution of the crank. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Let's see if the devil will run. Just a simple carburetor, nothing there but a Venturi in an indie port. That port is 90 thousandths of an inch. We don't even have a throttle plate in there. Ultimately, we, we intend to put a throttle plate in it so that you can adjust the speed. clip you just watched was shot for our friend Walt Leroy and it is actually the first or prototype differential engine that we had built and since that time we have built a couple of other engines in order to prove the plans and this is one of those engines so at this time we'll go ahead and head outside and see if we can get this engine started see just a little bit more video footage of the Atkinson differential engine running